It's time for another episode of What I Wore This Week. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Ashley Park. This is Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content. So if that's what you love, you are in the right place. Be sure to subscribe and hit those notification bells. I upload multiple times a week and now is not the time to miss anything. This week I have a great mix of outfits for you guys. Very comfortable, very fabulous, chic, just really elevated outfits that you guys are going to love. So I can't wait to get into those. But before I get into the outfits, I just want to take a second and talk about my ebook. Some of you are new here and you might not know that you can access my ebook. I'll have the link in the description box and you can check out my ebook if you want to start a YouTube channel. If you've been interested, if you've been thinking about it, now is a great time. If this is something you've been wanting to do for years or this is something you just thought about and you want to see if it's right for you, then you have to check out my ebook. Because when I started my YouTube channel, I was working a nine to five job. I was really unhappy and I was very unsure about what I wanted to do. I literally felt like I was just floating around. And so at the time, I just finally made the decision to lean into my YouTube channel and I started really working at it and treating it as though I was making money from it. And once I did that, everything just fell into place and it was, it was work. It was not easy and it took time, but I was able to do it. And I know so many of you can do it as well. So that's why. I wrote an ebook and it details literally every single thing I did step by step to get to where I am now. I now am a full-time YouTuber and I was able to renovate my home. You guys came along, so many of you who have been following my YouTube channel since the beginning. You guys saw I was able to renovate my home. I now have a new space that I'm able to create in and I'm able to do this by doing YouTube. So I want you guys to be able to have the same experiences if that's what you want. And YouTube is still a very lucrative means of income, you can definitely have a successful YouTube channel right now, today, starting from zero. And so if you want to know exactly what I did, then you need to check out my ebook. And when you purchase the ebook, you also get the audiobook, so you can listen on the go, listen while you're in the car, maybe while you're working out, whatever. If you like to switch back and forth between reading and audiobook, you have that option. You're also going to get a list of the affiliate networks that I used, and you guys can start making money right away. Affiliate networks are just some of the easiest and most effective ways to make money right away, no matter what your following is. And you will also get my exact rate card that I use right now. Literally the same rate card that I use for my brand deals right now. All you have to do is plug in your information. Like super simple, super easy. I detail everything that I did. You can follow all the steps. And it does take time and it does take dedication, but you can definitely do it. And I show you exactly how I did it. So if you want to check out my ebook, I'll have links in the description box to all the information you'll need. Now let's jump into the first outfit that I have for you guys, and I really love this look. This is definitely a sophisticated, elevated, but still very comfortable look. You guys know I love that. Comfortable and cute is my thing, and I really love this first outfit. The coat that I'm wearing, I can't remember if it's either Cole Haan or Ted Baker, but I did get it from Nordstrom Rack. I've had it for a while, and I really love this coat. I love the color of it, and I really love the plaid. It's a really nice detail, but it's a great neutral. It's an elevated neutral, so I can wear it with so many things. And then it's like a long line blazer, basically, and I love blazers, so this was definitely right on my alley. But I've had this one for a while. And you guys, I'll have links to everything that I'm sharing with you in the description box, and I will link to similar items if I can find them for whatever's not available. So make sure you check the description box for all the information. But underneath that coat, I have on this cashmere turtleneck, and I love cashmere. So this time of year, I definitely love to layer up my cashmeres. This one that I'm wearing is from Lily Silk. Very comfortable, it's very lived in. I've had this one for a while, and I just love throwing it on when I wanna be warm but don't want to have really super thick layers. And so I love the color of this because it goes with all my neutrals. Really great. And I threw it on with a pair of jeans. These are by Good American. These are a skinny jean. And skinny jeans are not dead, you guys. I know everyone loves to say that skinny jeans are out, but they're not. I mean, they have a place. You can wear them to tuck inside your boots. I know I cannot wear any other kind of jeans but skinny jeans with my boots. So they will always have a place for me. And I'm wearing these skinny jeans tucked into a new pair of riding boots that I got. These are new, these were gifted to me by Vince Camuto and I really love these. They look really rich and expensive, but the price tag is very affordable. These are a great pair of riding boots if you've been looking for something. And I love to have at least one great pair of riding boots in my collection. Like literally, I have to always have a pair because they just work. When you wanna be casual, you wanna be comfortable, but you still wanna be elevated and elegant, a great 
great pair of riding boots is really good and I love that these have that gold detail. I just love equestrian style pieces and riding boots are definitely that. You need a really good pair. The two-tone is just really good. It just looks good. Comfortable to wear, they look elegant and they're just gonna get better as you wear them and that's one of my favorite things about riding boots is that they look really rich and luxe but the more you wear them and the more you break them in, the better they look. They just look really good when they're like lived in and used. I just love that. So these are a really great option. The gold detail is just my favorite part of the boot. They just look really great. And they have sort of this high, low kind of a slope around where it goes under your knee. Really great pair of boots. And they're wide calf friendly. So if you have any issues with that, then definitely check these out. You're gonna love these boots. Here's the next look that I have for you guys, and this is definitely like an edgy streetwear look. I have been so obsessed with all black looks lately. I don't know, it might just be my thing for the fall and winter, but I've been into all black since the summer, so I don't really know what's going on. That's a definite shift for me because I do like all black looks occasionally, but lately I have been really just obsessed with them. And so this one I'm loving. I'm wearing this new coat that I picked up from Zara. I love this coat. What I like about it, first of all, it's just so interesting to look at. It's a bomber style coat. It has those sleeves, but it also is long and it's that robe style. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I described pretty much this coat in a previous video. I was talking about the fact that I was looking for a coat and I was gonna check Zara because I was looking for like a robe style, oversized, cozy coat. And I went to Zara not long after I released that video and it was just exactly what I was describing. I was not expecting something with this bomber style like remix, but this was perfect. I think it's very unique. And this is a coat that long after it's sold out, you're going to be getting compliments on this coat. Like, I just think this is just such a fire coat. Like, the coat is fire. I love it. I think it's so cute. I love that I can cinch in the waist if I want to, but I just wear it open, honestly, most of the time because I'm like from my house to my car, from my car to my destination. So I'm really not out walking very much, but this is a perfect coat and you can layer up under it. You can wear scarves. You can wear thick, chunky turtlenecks if you wanted to. It has that oversized look, which I love. Just a really all around, just fabulous coat. And that inside lining is orange. So when you're wearing it open and that wind hits it, you know what I'm saying? It's moving in the wind. This is just such a cute coat. I think it's very cool. It looks very expensive and very just like edgy and chic, I just love it. Underneath the coat, I'm wearing a cashmere black turtleneck, again from Lily Silk. I really love black turtlenecks, just in general, because I just feel like they frame the face really well. They just make you look slim, you look really just like pulled together and put together. I just love a black turtleneck. And then I'm wearing it with my favorite leggings. These are one of my favorite leggings from Zara. These are great because they're nice and thick, so you don't see any imperfections. They really smooth you out and hold you in. And I actually don't, like when I buy these leggings, I have them for like a year. I have them for so long that when I get a new pair, I sometimes forget how the, a fresh pair feel. They snatch you in crazy, like, but they're comfortable. I really love these, so definitely check these out. And then on my feet, I'm wearing, wow, this is actually almost an entire Zara look. I didn't realize until I was talking it through. But on my feet, I'm wearing a pair of Zara boots that I have had for a while. These are a lace-up, like, combat style. And honestly, I had never really thought about getting the Prada boots before, like the Prada combat boots. But after thinking about how much I wear these boots and how much I really love them, and the fact that they are really a permanent fixture in my wardrobe, I, w I think that the Prada boots would be a nice addition. Nice and rugged, I can wear them over and over again. I don't really have to baby them. Comfortable, I love a pair of combat boots. Like I love a lace up pair of combat boots. They just look so good. So that's a conversation for another day, but I really love this outfit really just edgy and just like, you know, really great streetwear look. And then I threw on my Balenciaga Le Cago and I love this bag, you guys. I'm still very much obsessed with it. And I get a lot of questions about it actually, about like the color, how I feel about like the wear and tear and all that. I think it's a great bag. I definitely think it's specific to your personality. I know this bag is not for everyone. I find that people either really love it or they actually hate it. So if you're an in-between kind of a person, you're not sure, I don't think this is gonna be the bag for you because you might not like it after a while, but this bag is very classic to the Balenciaga brand. I mean, it's been around for a really long time. Just a couple of little added features and the fact that it is in a metallic is very on trend right now, but I love it. I'm obsessed with it and it is a bag that for me personally, I would have reached for years to come. Here's the next look that I wanna show you guys and another all black look that I love. I love shorts in the winter time as well. So let's start from the top. The turtleneck that I'm wearing is the same black cashmere turtleneck that I showed you in the previous outfit. I am a chronic outfit repeater, so you will see things repeated over and over, especially if it's like a really good piece that I can wear in a lot of different ways. I will repeat it 
several times in a week, no problem. So I'm wearing this black turtleneck, a great basic. I paired it with these shorts. These are a pair of trouser shorts that I have worn over and over and over and over and over. You guys have seen these a million times. So I will link to a similar pair, but I'm just, I just have on these black trouser shorts. And then I threw on my Gucci tights. I like these, they're fishnet. They don't have to be Gucci. You can also just throw on a regular pair of non-branded uh, fishnet tights that would look really great as well. So you don't have to worry about that. And on my feet, I'm wearing a pair of patent leather boots that I am obsessed with and love so much. I love patent leather anything. So when I saw these, I was like, well, I gotta try these on. These are DSW by Jessica Simpson. And they're just really cute. A really fabulous pair of boots. The heel is a little bit on the higher side, but they are comfortable. And when it comes to heel heights, I like to stick to a certain heel height. But I will consider higher heel heights j just depending on the structure of this shoe. So it's just better to always just try it on if you can. But I love this look. And just to keep with the patent leather, I threw on my black Coperni bag. I love this bag so much. It's such a cute little mini bag. It doesn't fit my phone, but it fits everything else I need, like all my essentials. Very cute. And I love the way it looks crossbody. And it's a nice little touch, nice added touch to the outfit. And of course, a pair of black shades because I couldn't miss that. <laughs> Here's the next look that I wanna show you, and this is definitely a 70s vibe. I love this, I love a 70s look. And the trench that I'm wearing is by the brand Avec La Phil. I've had this for a while, actually. I think I got it from one of the Nordstrom anniversary sales, but I love this trench. It's suede, which makes it a little bit more unusual, and I just love it. It's a nice, like, weighty kind of a, kind of a trench. It's just so good. But you can do a regular trench here. It doesn't have to be suede. You can do a patent trench. You know, it can be something different. I really love just a trench coat in general, to be honest. And then underneath it, I'm wearing a cashmere button-up cardigan from Veronica Beard. I love this cardigan so much. I love how long the lapels are. I love the fit of it. It's ribbed, it's very comfortable. It just feels really good. A really great cardigan if you're looking for something like this. And then for my jeans, I'm wearing these wide leg jeans that I picked up from Express a while back. I love these because they're comfortable, they have good stretch, and I got them in long. Whenever I want to wear my jeans with like heels or I'm just looking for something longer, I always just go for long no matter what because I can always hem them if they're too long, but I like to have a little bit more length on my jeans if I can, but I'm 5'6", so you might be taller than me and you might not be able to have the same experience, or you might be shorter than me and you definitely have to get them hemmed. So make sure you just take note of the inseam of the jeans and see what the different uh, lengths offer as far as the inseam, but I really like these jeans. And then for my shoes, I'm wearing a pair of Veronica Beard booties. I love these as well. I've shared these many times on my channel. They're just a really great pair of brown suede booties they're a really great tone because they go with like the warms and the cools I just really like the tone of these booties so good and very comfortable and just easy to wear and I love the way they fit my ankle they're not too big on the ankle I hate a boot that is too big on my ankle I just find it to be very unflattering so I just love these and then of course I had to throw on my Chloe Tess that was a great bag because it has that 70s vibe again and then I have on my oversized Gucci shades here, the butterfly brown lens frames. I just love these. This entire look is just really good. Very comfortable, but it looks put together and polished. I would wear this into the office depending on where you work, but if you need to wear this more for a casual environment, then that could work as well. This is a really good outfit. And of course, if you wanna do something different as far as the jeans, you can throw on a pair of straight leg jeans and do sneakers. Um, you know, you can definitely dress it down. You don't have to do heels if you don't want to, or you can do a pair of skinny jeans and then an over the knee boot. That would work as well and you would still have a really cute look. Now here is the last look that I have for you guys. I love this look so much. It just looks really cool and just like, you know, effortless and chic. I just love this. So the hat that I'm wearing is from Zara. I love these newsboy style caps so easy to wear and I love to have a hat when my hair is not done. I love to have a hat because it really keeps the outfit interesting and you don't have to worry about your hair. So it's like a lazy girl hack, but I just love this hat and I love this style in general and I paired it with a cream turtleneck. This one is from H&M. I love this rib knit. I mean, you can do any cream turtleneck that you have, but I do love a rib knit. I just, I just find it to be very flattering, especially the larger ribbing. It just elongates you in a really great way. And then for my jeans, I'm wearing my cream colored Everlane jeans that I love. They're comfortable, they have a nice high rise and some good stretch. They're not see-through. They're a really great fitting pair of jeans. And then on my feet, I'm wearing my Veronica Beard booties because they are just a really great compliment to this outfit. And for a coat, I went with this one by Frame. I love this coat so much. When I saw it in Neiman's, I was just like, ooh, I have to have this coat. I had it for a while now, probably, probably about a year. Actually, I shared it in a video where I shared like some of my birthday gifts last year, and this coat was one of them. I 
love this coat so much. I love the color, everything. And it just reminds me of like origami, just the way it folds and the way it looks at quilting. And it has that cascade collar, but you can definitely cinch it in the waist if you want to. I just had it kind of like, uh, you know, tucked into my pockets, the belt, but you can tie it up and, you know, cinch it in if you want to it just depends on the look you're going for but i just love this coat and i love like quilted style coats puffer jackets all that i think they're really really great pieces especially you know functional pieces for this fall and winter so they're great to have and they just look so cute and so this is the last look that i have for you guys i love this outfit i actually think this outfit is my favorite but let me know which one is your favorite let me know in the comments and let me know which outfits you guys are going to be recreating i'll have links to everything in the description box along with um, any of the pieces that are not available anymore i'll link to something similar so make sure you guys check the description box and make sure you check the description box if you are interested in picking up a copy of my ebook and remember that ebook comes also with the audiobook and then you will also get a list of affiliate networks that i have signed up for that i have used personally and then you will also get my rate card that i use currently so you'll have all the information you will need it's your youtube starter kit you'll have all the information you will need to follow step by step exactly what i did to get to where i am and i want you guys to be able to have it if you're interested you know i know a lot of people think that starting a youtube channel now is pointless you're not going to be able to you know get far a lot of people feel like it's oversaturated and all that but i'm telling you if you want to have a youtube channel go ahead and get it started because it's very possible to have a very successful youtube channel right now in 2022 and beyond if it's something you want to do just do it and really focus on it and it's definitely going to happen for you so thank you guys so much for watching if you want to check me out on some of my other platforms like instagram or pinterest i will have links to all that information in the description box as well till then i'll catch you guys in the next video